Tears of joy and sighs of relief. Now that the majority of the New Mexico nursing home residents have had both doses of the COVID vaccine, Las Cruces families are hugging their loved ones and holding their hands for the first time in months or even a year. ABC 7's Kate Berry saw the emotion on display in Las Cruces and she reports from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Behind this door, a Las Cruces mother and daughter are eagerly waiting to see their loved one after months of separation. It has been very difficult um, not to be able to see him in person. I'm sorry, it's probably um, the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Carol and Renee Kuhn patiently wait to see their father and husband, 76-year-old Bill Kuhn. We've been married 53 years and um, he's my best friend. In December, his wife said Bill's dementia grew unmanageable. She had no choice but to find him better care. It was absolutely the hardest thing I've ever had to do. This was our very first little house, and that's when Bill became a chief engineer. This is the book they used to jog his memory, helping him remember his life as an engineer, father, and husband. This is his carol that he was remembering. <sighs> excited. Very excited. I love you so much, honey. I'm so glad to see you, Dad. I'm so glad to see you, too. Real deep Maybe breath, real okay? Here. So she's right there. There's Renee. We all waited a long time to get to see you, haven't we? Yeah. I love you, okay? I know. We'll get to come back and see you another day, okay? I feel like my heart's ready to burst. Just don't forget how much I love you, all right? Yeah. It's so hard to watch him go back in. I got emotional. I will take every minute I can get with him in person. He's still mine. No matter how much space is between them, Carol said Bill will always be her soulmate. Reporting at Hacienda is at Grace Village with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, APC7. What a powerful story. While well, his family has been vaccinated, but according to state data, more than 6,000 residents and staffers of nursing homes and assisted living facilities declined the vaccine in New Mexico. We broke down all of this data on our website, kvie.com. Just click on New Mexico.